My husband came with, to the beach with us two weeks ago. He came. He doesn't talk. We've been married 20 years, so he doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> they always talk in the beginning, girls. Then they reduce themselves to mumbling, and then it's just pretty much grunts. And he came out of the Herculean recliner because he saw the action going on. I was packing up the car. And he came out and he looks at me and he goes, huh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm on the beach. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Hold on here. See, every woman in this room understands everything I just said. That was a month's worth of conversation right there. He's not coming to the beach with us. He's coming because there might be college girls at the beach. <laughs> that he can look at, you know, and they might be having a volleyball game. He's completely in love with himself. You ever see those guys that drink a lot of beer and they only gain the weight right here? Just right here? Doesn't come anyplace else, just right here. He's got that Irish disease, no ass at all. He's flat as a pancake, I'm telling you. His pants just shoot straight up his back. The belt goes through the belt loops up around his shoulder blades and then comes and makes this mad dive underneath the pregnancy. He's so front heavy, he walks like he's on cross country skis. Freddie's gonna tip her. He's always saying, you're the one that got fat. I did not get fat. My pants size has not changed since 1987. I know you just keep buying the same size pants and pushing them further and further underneath that tuma you call his stomach. Somebody said to me, what, what, what are you staying married for if you're, if you're that miserable? After 20 years, I said, maybe I just don't want to have to shave my legs anymore. <laughs> single men are very picky. I talk to the single girls. They got to be ready Freddy all the time. <laughs> single men don't like stubble. Married men are very grateful. They'll sleep with a monkey.